Hey guys, Grunchalam Zero Gaming here. Could Bungie ever potentially buy Halo back? Will another company ever take over Halo as well? But mostly we're figuring out if Bungie has really you know, screwed up Destiny to like the Destiny series and they might want to go back to something. Because that's why they quit Halo in the first place, because they wanted to do something new, but maybe they're having second thoughts. And from the look of their warehouse, if you guys ever have been inside Bungie Studios or seen pictures, they still have, like Master Chief idol like, you know, big cutouts of him like everywhere so it's no doubt that they miss him but I'm sure a lot of people who actually worked on Master Chief are not even there anymore so they would have really they really know like urge just to go back to you know the uh, Halo series so anyways you guys saw Bungie so this is the game that they made I actually touched base on that in the other video so um, if you have I'm not gonna be like every YouTuber that says go check that out you can if you want but that really doesn't have any basis on what this video is. Sure, yeah, they sold Bungie. I mean, <laughs> Bungie. They sold Bungie's pretty much like Prime Star Halo to, you know, like their golden horse, you know, that kind of thing. They sold it. And then what happened was 343 came along, you know, they bought it. They had the right material, equipment to really prop of Halo. They had the funding to, you know, give its own TV shows, you know like it's doing now, giving a bigger, you know, basis and making it, promoting it throughout the world, even. So it definitely made Halo a lot, a lot bigger of a name. So, could Bungie ever buy it back? So, I'm actually going to start up the credits in a few minutes, and if you do, you actually see Activision, and I'll point out when it comes by, if it comes by, because they really actually wanted Activision out. They actually took Activision out of the credits, so... What happened was, they literally said, Activision, we're going to pay for, you know, our own stuff now, get lost. And they spent a considerable amount of money on saying, goodbye Activision, no more of you. So, what happened was, now their Bungie's pretty much poor. I wouldn't say, like, poor as in, they have no m money, necessarily, they're not, like, Minecraft story mode, you know, uh, Tentel Games, not like that kind of broke, but they are at a point where I really don't think they can start anything new until they make a little bit more money and then they could probably make a Destiny 3 or something like that, and I'm sure they're working on it to make more money, so you need funding to fund, you know, you need money to make money, so, you know, it's... It's kind of like a tough one. They're kind of in a tough spot. And they got rid of Activision at a good and bad spot. So they had the money to get rid of Activision. So now they are so now they have more employees. And they're hiring all those employees to pretty much just be the new publisher. And they're going off on their own. So Bungie is trying to be independent. So what happened is Activision. So here we go. Created by Bungie. Now after they got rid of Activision, they don't really mention them in here. Unless you go down to like the very bottom, but they used to actually say like, like at the top Activision, but then they edited their, edited, yeah, their credits, so I think that was pretty interesting. So as you can see, it actually took about two-ish years to make the um, game, and see, Bungie, so they don't just make Destiny, if that, you know, if you will, but that is like their main thing at the moment now uh you know <clears throat> they make like little things here and there but nothing is really as big as dust like that's what they are you hear the word bungee immediately i think of halo and destiny 2 so those are those two big games and then bungee has a big tendency of making huge games and then having somebody come in and then buy them so i haven't seen anybody try and buy this yet but hey, they could, and, you know, they might actually not, since they got rid of Activision in the first place, so maybe, you know, they're just going to try and keep a game for once. As you can see from the credits, they have a lot more employees than they used to. They used to be pretty small, and then now they just kept getting bigger. It just started by one guy a long time ago, I think it was, like, in the 90s, I think, and then they kind of just took off, really. 
no, hiring employees, firing, whatever cast needed to be done, and then and they made this game. So pretty nice, you know, engineering, you know, blah, 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 animators, creditors, all that good stuff. So they have their whole team. So why would they want, so, you know, recapping, you're always going back to this. Why would they want to buy this game back? And could they? Or would they? So, first of all, start off, would they? It's very likely that they want to, maybe, because Destiny 2, they kind of had like a slump, like their first expansion, Osiris, didn't do well, and it sucks, and now it's free, pretty much, like, they're just giving away, they're like, okay, we didn't do very good on this. Then, their other expansion, the Mars expansion, I forget, it's the Warmind expansion, they did okay with that, they they came back, I think they realized their errors, but, you know, it was okay, you know, a lot of good weapons came out of that expansion, and then we had the last expansion, well, not the last, but pretty much, like, their big one, like, expansions 3 and 4, like, the Forsaken expansion was, a, like, it was pretty much a whole nother game. It was huge, and a whole, and opened even up an entire, like, two worlds of stuff, it didn't even have, like, it had its own planet, but then actually led to another huge planet and huge raid and just huge things because the Osiris, that whole thing, that really didn't have a raid, to be fair. And then um, Mars didn't have a raid, uh, but then they came out with, you know, the raid of, <clears throat> if you guys have played it, they came out with their own raid in the big expansion. So they're pretty much, so pretty much what I'm trying to say is, yeah, they're occupying with just updating Destiny at this point. So would they? I think they do. Maybe somewhat want to buy it because they're failing now. Like, people, like, Forsaken was the last thing for me. Like, it just became too fantasy for me to keep playing it. So I had to just drop out. Not saying Halo isn't, they made it fantasy also. But they did pretty much ruin the reputation of that. And then... Could they buy it back? That's they are, like I said, extremely poor at this moment. All their resources have gone into expanding their facilities and making sure that they could replace Activision. So, right now, they're at a loss if they wanted to try, like, I, they don't even have the funding. They would have to get a loan, which I'm pretty sure if you went to your local bank and said, I need, like, I don't even know what they sell it for, like, they spend, so, Halo, they spent $500 million making Halo 5. So, that's a lot of money. So, if they had to sell, I don't think, that would actually be crazy to think about. They might sell Halo for a billion dollars, but I really don't think 343 would sell Halo, though. So, that's kind of something to think about. But remember, like I said in the last video, they kind of... Bungie really s sold Halo because they were out of ideas. They were, they were out. They were just like out of it, and they they already actually started creating Destiny 2. So I think they wanted just to get it out before somebody forced them. Like, hey, you need to make a new one. You really can't make two games at once. That's really putting a strain on your company. And for that time, Bungie was a small size. You know, at that time. So you're really putting a strain on your company if you decide to do that. But all, like, so like, pretty much just wrap everything up. I think they might in the future try and like make hints that they want it back, or try and make a game similar to that, maybe. But I don't think at this point in time, for in for the foreseeable future, future they can't afford it. That's just how it goes in the business. Like, not have any money. I guess you can't buy your old company back. And they really didn't have any, you know, things in place to say, you know, like an easement on the game to say, you know, if we want this back anytime, we can get it back. They didn't do anything like that. So, you know, video games aren't like land, so you can't really buy it back whenever you want it to. So I guess that's just the way it's going to be. I think Halo will, like, spread throughout the world, but not, like, have the right missions, not like a good storyline, and I wish Bungie could buy it back, I really do. And I think some of their like top executives, like the people that remember it, want it too. So guys, that is it for me. Please subscribe for more Halo.